you pull out a tick from your dog's fur and feel that instant relief. It's gone. Problem solved. Or so you think. But a few days later, there it is again. Another tick. Same spot. Same nightmare. Why do ticks keep coming back, even after you remove them? Before we dive into this mystery, make sure to hit like and subscribe, because what you're about to learn might save your dog from a never-ending tick cycle. It all started with Max, a golden retriever who loved chasing butterflies in his backyard. His owner, Sarah, checked him every single day. She used tweezers, sprays, and everything she could find online. Yet every few days, another tick appeared. Sarah began to wonder, were these ticks somehow finding their way back to Max? Here's the truth most dog owners don't realize. It's not that ticks are returning, it's that you never completely got rid of them in the first place. When you remove a tick, sometimes a tiny part of its mouth stays inside your dog's skin. You may not see it, but that fragment leaves behind a small wound, releasing heat, scent, and even a little moisture. To other ticks, that's like a glowing welcome sign. Ticks can detect carbon dioxide and warmth from several meters away. So the same area becomes a fresh target again and again. But that's only the beginning. Adult ticks don't just bite, they breed. One female tick can lay up to 5,000 eggs. She drops off your dog, hides in grass, cracks, or bedding, and leaves behind an invisible army. Those eggs don't hatch right away. They wait for the perfect temperature, the right humidity, and yes, your dog's scent. So even if you pulled off the last visible tick, its offspring might already be waiting to climb aboard. Ticks have a four-stage life cycle, egg, larva, nymph, and adult. Each stage feeds once, drops off, then grows into the next. That means the tick you removed isn't necessarily the same one you'll find next week. It could be the next gen, the babies of the one you thought you killed. And here's the creepy part. The larval and nymph stages are so tiny, you can't even see them with the naked eye. They hide between toes, under collars, or deep inside the ears, quietly feeding until they're big enough to be noticed. Now think about your dog's environment. That shady spot in your garden, the pile of dry leaves, or even your couch cushions. All of these can shelter ticks. They love dark, moist places where they can wait without drying out. And they're patient, unbelievably patient. Some ticks can survive for months, even without feeding once. So while you think you've gotten rid of them, they're just waiting for your dog to come close again. But there's another reason ticks seem to find your dog so easily. Every dog has a unique body scent, a mix of heat, oils, and natural chemicals. Some dogs produce more lactic acid, more heat, or stronger odors, making them irresistible to ticks. And get this, when ticks drop off after feeding, they often stay nearby in the same environment. They remember that scent, waiting for your dog to walk by again. So yes, you might remove the tick perfectly, but if the environment isn't treated, new ones will always find their way back. Here's what Sarah eventually learned about Max and what you should do too. First, clean not just your dog, but their surroundings. Wash their bedding, vacuum your carpets, and spray natural tick repellents like neem or cedar oil around sleeping and play areas. Second, use preventive treatments regularly, not just when you see ticks. Third, after every walk, check your dog's skin under the collar, behind the ears, between paws. Fourth, always dispose of ticks properly. Burn them or flush them, never crush them. And finally, don't forget your yard. A single untreated patch of grass can become a tick factory in weeks. When Sarah started doing all this, the results were shocking. For the first time in months, Max's fur stayed tick-free. No more scratching, no more late night searches. So remember, when you find another tick and think, didn't I just remove one from here? It's not about one tick. It's about the ecosystem they create. You're not fighting a bug, you're fighting a cycle. Break the cycle and you break the comeback. If this video helped you understand your dog's battle against ticks, 
Make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with other dog parents, because someone out there is probably pulling out the same tick again and again without ever realizing the truth.